Hi Virgos, this is going to be your reading from November the 1st to 15th. I hope everyone is having a good month so far. If this resonates with you, please like, subscribe, share, comment. If it doesn't, check your moon and rising because you could be in that energy as well. Just remember that these are general readings, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. I also want to just say a big thank you to everyone that is here. Um, if you're kind of coming back to watch my videos or this is your first time, I just want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to do so. Um, I'm forever grateful for you, so just want to put that out there. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to start with the Angel Oracle Guide, move into traditional tarot after, and then back to Oracle at the end. So this week you got opportunity and change if I can get to the right page there we go your message as one door closes another one opens this is a time for change your angels are drawing you close and to support you into making the changes you need to make an attract uh, to to make to attract opportunities in abundance you may have experienced resistance lately or felt stuck, but this new beginning you are seeking is unfolding now. If you're hesitating over a decision or wonder what to do in a particular project, your angels are encouraging you to go with the new. Change might bring a sense of vulnerability or present you with the unknown, but it will allow you to make a deeper connection to your feelings and gifts and what's important to you. Your guardian angel is waiting to guide you through the door of opportunity that is being offered to you now. You're in a time of change and opportunity, whether it involves a new role, a career opportunity, a relationship, child, or project. Know that it is blessed by God and the angels. This is an exciting time, and if you are apprehensive, know that this card is reassuring you that you're being supported by the divine. If you ask angels to lead the way, they will guide you by signs, intu uh, intuition, and instinct. Move forward fiercely as if, they're, if this is a blessed time for you. So it took a little bit to get out there, but it's very exciting, Virgo. I'm a Virgo too, so it's very nice when those kind of cards come out. All right, let me get into traditional tarot. And after I pull some cards, just kind of give me a bit of time to just feel the energy around you. And then we'll move on from there. I'm kind of already feeling what this energy is, is feeling like, but just give me a sec for a go. For a go. Seeing chain reaction um, in a way, and it's funny because I was like, uh, obviously the other card said one door opens, another one closes, and I can see that and I can feel that there as well. But it's almost like the image of like one door closes, one door opens, but it all, uh, opens multiple kind of doors. It's like boom, 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 one after another, and it's like this kind of long hallway that I'm seeing there. So there might be this kind of chain reaction moment, you know, like maybe you decide to um, switch things up if you decide to move, and it kind of opens a lot of doors for you. It's interesting because that's like this energy that I'm feeling, this change that is happening, this opportunity that is happening. And we have the Ace of Cups here and we have the Knight of Cups in the reversed. Uh, for some of you, this is a breakup. This is an ending of some kind of relationship. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be friendship here as well. Um, it could be just someone we're kind of emotionally tied to. Um, it's interesting because this change that we're having right now is going to cause a little bit of um, emotional heartache or um, emotional um, pain in a way. Um, it's not the Three of Swords, so but it's just like saying that um, you know we're going to be feeling like pretty emotional at this time or uh, feeling like unsure um, what to do kind of emotionally here. The Knight of Cups in reverse is kind of saying that someone is maybe not giving us the cup of love um, that we want here or that we need here or this new kind of emotional beginning isn't happening for us. Um, and that's okay because it just feels like um, with this change right now, it kind of feels like it can be kind of a, an emotional burden or uh, emotionally stressful a little bit. Um, but there is kind of solutions here for you. 
we have the six of pentacles here, which is kind of about giving back energy. So it seems like there's someone here to kind of give back to you um, in, some, in some capacity or be there to kind of help you or guide you. Maybe this is financially. Maybe this is to kind of help you. It seems like with a move coming up here as well, we have the six of swords, which is kind of our moving energy. So this could be traveling somewhere else. This could be moving to a new home, followed by the four of wands. So it's a big kind of um, move energy, moving to a new place, moving to a new home, moving back home, um, traveling back home uh, here as well, you might be doing Virgo. Um, but there's here to someone to kind of help you do that or help you out financially with that. It's interesting though that this change is coming and we're moving on to new things, but it still feels like this kind of emotional burden um, attached to it in a way. We have the nine of pentacles in the reverse. And when this is um, in the reverse, it's saying we're not giving ourselves um, enough value, self-love, self-care here. Um, in, it seems like, a relationship. We have the lover's card popping up here, Gemini energy. These are two people that are divinely guided. It feels like you're kind of overthinking a lot of this maybe relationship. Um, maybe if you're feeling like you're not valuable enough um, to this person in a way or you feel in some kind of capacity um, that you don't deserve them because there is this night or sorry, this... Um, Eight of Swords that is kind of coming up here. This Eight of Swords is kind of about mental confusion, um, basically having the blindfold on here to ourselves, getting in our head, getting in our own way, not seeing kind of things clearly. This can be headaches, overthinking here as well. So in some kind of relationship in our life, we're not really seeing the value that we bring in. Um, maybe this has to do with this kind of emotional change that is happening, but it's causing you to kind of overthink and get in your own head about things here. Um, you know, I feel like you're starting to question yourself a little bit or question your value, um, which we don't want to do, Virgo, right? We don't want to be like, it's good to kind of question your um, behaviors, but it's not good to question if you deserve love, if you deserve happiness, um, if you are good enough for someone, um, right? Because we all deserve happiness. We all deserve love. You know, we all deserve for someone to care about us here as well. And that includes caring about yourself. And I think that's kind of an important reminder here. I don't know why, but you might just be like second guessy of yourself or of your kind of um, own kind of actions right now. The big manifestation is coming in for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have the Magician card, we have the Six of Wands, and we have the Star card. Major, major victory. Something we've been hoping for, something that we've been manifesting, something that we have been wishing to come in our life is going to, I think, arrive in these kind of two weeks. This is maybe a dream of yours that you had. Um, this is maybe something that you've been wishing for a while, that you've been trying to manifest here. Oh, that's, that's very, feels big, um, Virgo, I'll say that. Feels like uh, a wish fulfillment, feels feels good, feels like something um, big here. It's, it's bringing tears to my eyes, honestly. Feels, it feels good, but. So I'm just pulling some more cards. We have the Empress coming out here, and the Empress card is kind of a card of abundance. Um, it's a feminine card. Again, it doesn't matter male or female, but it's just about kind of like abundance, growth, and femininity kind of in that way. Sometimes this can represent pregnancy. Sometimes this can represent um, mothers in situations. But there's someone coming to tell you kind of a truth here or fess up. Um, with this empress energy this might be a truth with yourself here as well Virgo where you're just just like you know I ha I really see that I am the person um, I need to change my own energy here you know I need to really feel abundant I really need to raise my vibration I really need to feel like I deserve abundance and I deserve uh, things to come to me here because again in the top row or like the second row here it seems like we're not um, really sure of it yet and the seven of swords kind of represents 
um, truth coming to the surface. So maybe you're going to have a truth here um, from a mother figure, or this is, again, like I was saying before, a truth that is coming um, for yourself here. But whatever it is, it's going to start this kind of new journey for you with this Fool card, this new beginning. And I think it's going to kind of move you into this space of more abundance here. Justice card. Whatever this new start is for you. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Virgo, this reading's kind of insane. Okay. Okay. It's stuff going on. But, um... So this justice card is popping out here, which means um, things are going to be fair, things are going to be just. Maybe this might be a new contract coming in that you have to sign, um, a new agreement, a new partnership here. Um, this could be good karma coming your way, but it's just saying whatever this new cycle, there, it's going to be um, a just uh, situation. You're going to really feel like um, things are kind of going your way or on your side here. It's interesting, though, because we have this Ace of Pentacles coming up, which is talking about a new financial offer that's popping in here, and the judgment is coming out in the reverse which is saying an error in judgment so whatever there is this kind of new financial offer whether it's a job um, whether it's um, just some extra money coming in for some reason but we're having an error in judgment on it and it's like I, I don't know what this error in judgment is but it's making us feel very defeated let me just kind of feel this Because the Ten of Swords is like rock bottom stabbed in the back kind of energy here. And it's interesting that a new job is making us feel this way or the Ace of Pentacles coming is making us feel this way. And we're having an error in judgment about it. Maybe someone's like low. Can I feel what this is feeling like? Maybe someone's lowballing you, or or you're just kind of feeling like you're like questioning it. You're just like, I don't know about this. But the tennis horse is kind of betrayal, so it's almost just like maybe you're feeling a little bit defeated or rock bottom by it. Maybe you're just like, oh, you know, this money's coming in, but I have to kind of accept a job that I think is lower than my pay grade. But it's interesting because they have the Seven of Pentacles coming out right after, which is telling you that you're kind of reflecting on kind of how far you've come or the work that you've already done here. So I don't know if you're going to take this offer or not. They say you are making an error in judgment about it. Um, so I will say that. But I think you're reflecting on the work that you've already done here. So some of you um, might take it. Some of you might be like, no, it's, it's not for me. Whatever this kind of new job that comes in, it's going to be a mini lesson or this new kind of money coming in is going to be a mini kind of lesson for you. Uh, the tower card in the reverse it means like seeing a crack in the foundation and fixing it. A small change. Maybe this is a change of perspective. Two. Wow. Two of wands and three of wands coming in here as well. New opportunities on the way. Focusing on the new. Right? Change, opportunity, the new, the new, the new. It's so interesting, this kind of money offer. This kind of, I just kind of keep going back to it. Maybe this is also talking about your kind of integrity with the Empress here, you know, standing up for your energy, being like, you know, you can lowball me if you want, but I think another offer is going to be coming in, or I know my worth in a way. So there's a mini lesson coming in here about valuing the work that you have done already and also being open to new things and knowing that more is coming to you. I hate that saying it feels like a test, but it kind of feels like a test in a way if you will kind of stand up for yourself here and in your own energy. Maybe some of you are really uh, wanting to build more money here. I don't know, I'm feeling this energy with integrity with you. For Virgo. Emperor, yeah, structure, control, boss, CEO, energy with this emperor coming out. 
they're saying like you're in control you have the reins here so um, don't let other people define you or if other people try to kind of win you over with money here um, and you're like that's not the right call or you're like I deserve more than that that's like BS do that you're in control you are the emperor you know you have the reins you have the structure you are your own boss you are your own CEO you can say no to things if you want to because things are spinning in your favor right now. Wow, Wheel of Fortune. Virgo, honestly, like, I haven't had a reading this, like, I feel, like, positive and, like, uh, like magical in a while here. So I'm really, really, really honestly excited for you in this because I feel like there's a lot of good coming in here. But there is going to be almost, like, these little tests of being, like, okay, have they learned about their own value? Have they learned about their worth here, you know? Um, about kind of being their own authority figure as well. Things are moving, things are spinning in your favor. Destiny is on your side. I have the Knight of Swords reversed. I have the King of um, Wands go coming out sideways, which means it can go either way, that there's kind of choice involved here. And we have the Five of Pentacles um, coming out here as well. I feel like maybe you've been um, in a place recently where you've been kind of, again, like I said, doubting yourself, doubting your own abilities. Um, things maybe have not been moving for you or you've had a lot of maybe financial losses um, in the last little while um, here. But I think the what the kind of king of wands coming out sideways is telling you here is that you kind of have more talent and more um drive than you kind of realize at this time like you have more authority to get yourself out of this stuck situation or get yourself out of this um energy of money and loss and and um really really believe in yourself here is this energy that i'm feeling Yeah, trust your gut. Intuition popping out here. You know exactly what to do. Your gut is telling you what to do here. It's kind of all about trusting that. Wow, though, Virgo, this is kind of like an incredible reading. For Virgo, please. So you actually got two cards in the Energy Oracle this week. You got Angel of Love reversed, which is kind of this uh, Knight of Cups energy, this Ace of Cups in the top of your reading, this energy that I'm feeling. So I'll read that first. This card is in the reverse position. The Angel of Love could indicate a possible disconnect in matters of the heart. While this sometimes signifies a divorce or separation, it could also amplify an emotional rift where two people stay connected on a superficial basis, yet on a, different, on a deeper level seem to be going their own ways. In this position, the angel can also refer to an old separation. If long it remains alive in one partner's heart, you can find yourself unable to let go. This loving angel is telling you that it's time to release any toxic or unrequited attachment you may be holding on to. The universe is waiting you to free your heart and open your life to a fully present and honoring love that you so rightly deserve. So look into the mirror and see the angel of love there with you and know that you are worthy of this tender emotion from yourself and others. I think that's important and to it too, you know, look in the mirror and see the angel of love there with you. This is kind of referring back to the nine of pentacles reversed. Know that you are worthy of this tender emotion from yourself and others. You also got Door to Personal Healing and Happiness, New Beginnings and Personal Life. This card is a harbin harbinger for positive change. We got change before, right? Change and opportunity. This beautiful, light-filled door opens onto a lush, uh, rainbow-lit spring field with vibrant lotus flowers. Whether you're working on some inner healing, such as uh, breaking an addiction, or looking to make some external changes, such as finding a new place to live, the Four of Wands there. This card could signal your life is opening up and new opportunities are about to appear. The changes that you've been working on ready to blossom with wonderful results. So make sure that you see personal intentions through with continued action and optimistic expectations. Exciting. Exciting stuff. Now you also got karmatic relationships. Karmatic relationships. 
Orion energy polarity soul growth conflict. The constellation Orion is thought to have been many, have been a place of great polarity and eventual unity. Kind of sounds like Earth. Of this cosmic history are... are uh, uh, so, some believe that many star seeds who are part of this cosmic history are incarnated on Earth now or are playing out a karmatic relationship from Orion times. Perhaps you're one of them. Polarity causes conflict and highlights separation. However, because of this, conflict can also, be the, uh, can also result in unity and growth. Too many misunderstandings are caused when we don't open our heart and mind and see things from a different point of view. When we go into a reactive second-guessing mode, we were talking about that at the top here, um, gathering the courage to open instead of gathering the courage to open our heart, we should admit that we may have reacted because of our own woundings and find mutual grounds. We're all innocent children looking to be seen, understood, and cherished, and it's much harder to grow closer through conflict than it is to grow further apart. Yet it's the invitation of conflict. It's easy to react and take things personally. It's more challenging to see the innocence of all involved and find a way to grow closer through conflict. It's through relationships that we grow the most. How can you soften your heart and drop your defenses enough to see things from a different point of view? How can you see the innocence of all involved and how can you learn to see the similarities rather than the differences? All right, Virgo. Deep reading, but I think this is going to be the start of something big for you. So that was your first month reading. I hope that helped.